What's going on folks? Today's review will be the 2021 HBO Max original series, and that is, Gemstone. I actually don't believed it. All the Hanna-Barbera shows from our childhoods in one HBO Max original show. I bet this is kinda amazing. Jellystone was originally aired on Cartoon Network, currently airing on Boomerang, and currently streaming on Max, formerly known as HBO Max. The series is a reimagined take on the legendary Hanna-Barbera brand, focusing on a modernized ensemble of its characters as they live, work, and play together but have to solve the problems they have. All of them have specific roles in the community. Huckleberry Hound is the mayor of Gemstone. Yogi Bear is a surgeon. Doggy Daddy is a lighthouse keeper who is overprotective towards Oji Doggy. Jabber Jaw and Loopy De Loop work in Magilla Gorilla's haberdashery called Magilla's. Top Cat and the Hoagies Alley Cats continue with their scam activities. Elkabong doubles as a teacher and superhero. Shazen is a ticket seller at Gemstone Theater and does various vendor jobs and the banana splits are cartoonish criminals. Each episode features them finding themselves in all sorts of mishaps and adventures. The writing is mostly pretty decent and each episode does have solid pacing, manages to be decently funny and a bit heartfelt at times, and even though their presence is mainly for comedic effect, the presence and appearances from all these characters does act as a respectable tribute to Hanna-Barbera's legacy. The downside is that it does try to hip and cool with the kids and using trendy buzzwords and pop culture references every once in a while, and it can be pretty cringy, and some of the character portrayals can be questionable. The humor is mostly pretty decent as even though there are some dubs every now and then, most of humor does land like the witty banter and dialogue between the characters, the visual humor and gags, the crude slapstick, and a lot of the wacky situations the characters get themselves in. The show can be somewhat heartwarming at times, and that's mostly due to the relationship between Doggy and Oji, even if it's not depicted often. The animation is pretty good for the most part but the style does take some getting used to. The characters do retain their classic designs only with Greenblatt's art style, they do have decent movements, the backgrounds are nicely colored and detailed, and there are some decent effects. Most of the characters have been simplified with their personalities, and several others have been dumbed down a bit or even changed, which these aspects can be a turn off for some but that are at least still likable and do provide some good laughs. Characters like Yogi, Boo Boo, Cindy, Top Cat and his gang, Huckleberry Hound, Jabber Jaw, Loopy De Loop, Shazen, Magilla Gorilla, The Great Gazoo, Grape Ape, Captain Caveman, Snagglepuss, Elkabong, aka Quick Draw McGraw, Rough and Ready, may have been simplified, and their personalities are pretty much all the same but they still manage to be likable and do provide some good laughs. Oji is easily the best character in the show as she's very spunky and impressionable, but she can also be very crafty and unhinged, and easily provides the show's biggest laughs. The banana splits being a gang of criminals in this series is a very funny concept, and the characters themselves are pretty funny as the show's more central antagonists who always fail in their crimes. On top of that, I'd much rather have them be depicted as a group of bumbling criminals than killer fniff style animatronics. There are some neat cameos from other Hanna-Barbera properties like Fred and Barney, Blue Falcon and Dynamut, Space Ghost and Brack, Johnny Quest and Haji, and Secret Squirrel and Adamant, though it would have been neat if there were other cameo appearances of characters from Scooby-Doo, The Jetsons and Tom and Jerry. A lot of the other characters are easily forgettable, but this is mostly due to the fact that since there are so many characters depicted, the show can suffer from character overload. The voice acting is pretty decent and does provide some alright performances like Jeff Bergman as Yogi, C.H., Greenblatt as Boo Boo, Benny, and Drooper, Grace Helbig as Cindy, Jim Conroy as Huckleberry, Captain Caveman and Bingo, Dana Snyder as Snagglepuss, Georgie Kidder as Oji, Thomas Lennon as Top Cat, Olka Simone Moenti as Loopy, Nicole Thurman as Jabber Jaw, Paul F. Tompkins as Magilla and Fleekle, Fajr Al Kazi as Shazen, and more. The music is honestly not very memorable as it just sounds very generic and standard for a comedic series. And what is my verdict on this HBO Max original? 
I'm rating it a 7.5 out of 10. That show bought up all the masterpiece of Hanna-Barbera, and even a great HBO Max original series, next to Infinity Train, Summer Camp Island, and even Adventure Time sequels.